Hey guys, back at the scene of the crime. This is a place called the Airfield at Woodhill Bike Park. This ramp for those uh, regular viewers of mine uh, hit up an airbag on it and did a forward somersault and kind of hurt myself. Um, everyone says you can't hurt yourself on an airbag, but apparently you can. Um, they think it's a big toy. So you'd think, well, I should give up on steep lips. Well, the good news is there's no airbag here today, so nobody can make me do these. Um, but there are some other jumps here. I never jump here because it's kind of a dirt jumper's kid's place, if you like. Um, but there's nobody here. It's a lovely day, and um, I'm going to see what I can hit up. I've got both the KGM and the Zeroed. Um, for those of you who've been watching recently, I said the Zeroed wasn't running that great. Well, the shock was making a terrible noise. So anyway, I um, got it serviced and it, it's running a lot, lot better. So a couple of weeks and I'll take it down to Christchurch. But I'd like to get a little bit of practice on that there. So anyway, I'm not going to put up lots of camera angles. Um, I'm just going to go ride. Just come join me if you want. So anyway, let's go and get the KTM and let's get started. All right then, run number one. So a little roller here. Very steep drop here. Whoa, went to flat actually. Whoa. Oi. Well, at least I overjumped them, if anything, that was cool. All right, well, the good news is I kind of overjumped everything, so it means I can probably go a little bit slower. Like that, that's better. That's better. Oh, that's, yeah, that's good. That's good. And then the question is, oh, it's a bit scary, didn't it? All right, we've done a couple of quick warm ups at the top. Um, there's all sorts of different lines here, but this is the one I want to try next. Okay, so you do the third jump there, and then you roll into this one. There's a gap. It looks like a steep, steep drop, but it's actually not. It's fairly mellow. I got told on this one just to go as fast as you can. Okay, so we'll try the next thing on this line. First one I was too fast. Second one was a bit slow. This one, well, that's better. Oh, yes, that's all right. Should we keep going? Whee! Okay, so the second one seems pretty chill. And the third one, you've got a steep lip. I'm going to take... Well, that's a good question. Do you take the steep lip or the mellow lip? Oh, that's a good question. I think the left lip looks the better one. Oh, I don't know. I'm confused now. Okay, just had a wee conference with myself off camera there. I think the left hand line is the one. I guess it's gonna throw you up a little bit higher, but it's a little mellower. There's a huge case pad on the top of this thing, so I think if you land on the top and ride over, it should be okay. So anyway, we'll see how that goes. Okay, we were a little bit hesitant on the first gap, but I think if we can tidy that up, That's better. Whoosh. Okay, that was a bit weird. Okay, I think you actually have to do a bit of turning there. Um, what am I doing? I'm kind of coming diagonally across the jump. Uh, I guess you have to turn in the air a bit. Not something I'm good at. Okay, change of plan. You see this jump it's kind of almost a hip jump, not my strong point. I tend to straighten everything out. And as I come across here, I'm literally ending up straight over there. So I need to do a turn. And to get onto that outside jump, I think is too difficult. So I'm gonna to need to try and straighten it up and do the right hand jump. I hope all that makes sense. All right, we'll take that. We'll take that. It wasn't pretty, but we'll take it. All right, let's go and see if we can tidy that up. That's better. Whoa, shoo. It's hard to go around that corner. All right, 10 more goes until we got that right. I think it's interesting how every jump it's just a little bit different and there's a little new skill to learn and this one is really playing with my head so as i pointed out before 
it's on an angle, it's aiming straight, and you want it going dead straight over there, except the jump is over there. And so, yeah, I guess I'm supposed to be turning in the air, but that's not my strong point. Oh, you see, I'm going well offline. You can see the tire tracks from where I'm jumping straight across here, and then I'm supposed to go there. It's Okay, I'm gonna try something different. Okay, I'm really struggling with that line. Um, it's not the jump so much as the fact that you've got to turn. Well, I guess it is the jump. Anyway, I'm gonna show you a slightly alternate line, which may be easy, maybe harder. Okay, so instead of going that one over, over there somewhere, can you see that, over there? We're gonna go over there. So, gonna come around this boom, run by my feet, and straight line it. Um, we'll see how that goes. Okay, I should have really done this when the kids were here, because um, now I'm a little bit confused as to how I get onto that line. There's a ramp on the here on the left, which looks the most logical, but I don't know, it kind of looks weird that the landing's over there somewhere, or you try and come on this line, and you go off to the left slightly and try and get onto that line. Either way, there's not many tight. Everyone seems to have been taking the line I've been doing before. Oh, I should have waited for the kids, shouldn't I? All right, let's try this new line. Yes, that worked. Oh, it's a sharp corner. But that kind of works, but not quite. All right, get in there, get in there. Now this is my nemesis here, is holding a lot of speed in a berm corner like this. Um, but actually the jump down there was actually quite mellow. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, come on. Oh, just can't get over the last one unless you get over that one. It's marginally better. Oh, I just gotta get some skills and be able to learn how to go fast in a berm corner. I'm losing speed in that corner. I've got way, heaps of speed coming down the hill. It's just coming around there, it speeds hard. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. In a lot of these videos, I do it in one take because I don't want to set up cameras and things like that too many times. Um, but in this one, I think there's going to be many, many runs of practice. It's, uh, it's not a matter about commitment, it's a matter of maintaining speed really, and I'm really struggling to do that. And if you don't clear the landing, you can't do the next one, yada yada, you know the story. Anyway, we'll keep practicing. There's the line there. That's the one. Speed, 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 your friend. Oh, oh I think we got over anyway. We're getting there, we're getting there. I had to put a pedal stroke in, but we got there a little bit faster. I just have to try and really rail that berm. Just trust that these big knobbly tires on the carpet are gonna grip. Yeah, that probably doesn't sound right, does it? Okay, I don't like to admit defeat, and I'm pretty damn stubborn at times, and so I had a lot of runs at this thing. Some of them were sort of partially successful other times i nearly killed myself going off the edge of the corner um, i tried going in from the side so i didn't have to pedal all the way up to the top and do the top three jumps um, but I'll, let me know in the comments if you do do this jump do you like this left hand line going around that berm and doing the jumps um, or can you not do it either um, so basically i want to know am i just a rubbish rider or is it not the best built uh, jump line? I don't want to slag off the Woodhill um, trail builders because I mean they've built some epic trails lately but things like Howgood and Aviator and Cider Fries are just awesome to session um, but this thing to be honest wasn't fun. Um, so anyway let me know am I a rubbish rider or is this maybe not the best uh, track in the world the best line um, I did switch switch back over to the original line um, but to be honest I didn't really like that one either um, so again you can let me know with the right line or let me know with both of them um, is it just me I'm a lousy rider I need to get better technique or have they not been built that well and they could be improved on anyway um, I did try what am I thinking? Well, I'm thinking that if I can't master the small lines, maybe I should master the monster line. 
doesn't really make sense does it but it's not lack of commitment I think on my part it's lack of well speed and maybe some skill to get that speed but if I can get the speed easy maybe I can do a bigger jump <sighs> not sure if that's good logic anyway we'll keep I'm, I need to what I need to work out is on that third jump is to be able to transfer onto the right line so that's what we're practicing next now the aim of today was actually to try and do the monster line which is the one to the right hand side um, and I thought I would just warm up on the uh, easier lines at the bottom but I had so much difficulty and as I say being stubborn I couldn't just not do them properly so I just kept going. Um, so basically what you need to do to do the monster line is to transfer from the left line to the right line so I had a few practices at that but uh, to be honest, I think I sort of, my, my confidence was a little bit shaky by this point and I decided to leave that for another day. So I decided to pull out the zero and practice the jumps on the zero. Okay, should have probably done this the other way around. I've now pulled out the zeroed um, after I'm exhausted. Actually, I looked at my bike computer. I did 14 k's worth of laps around the airfield, so that's a lot. The one thing that's so cool about the e-bike is you just keep riding. You ride up, down, up, down, up, down. Whereas on the steam bike, you uh, stop, have a rest, you push up. You just don't get as many runs in. But anyway, I'm going to have a little practice because yeah, two weeks we'll be in Christchurch, and um, anyway, we'll have a little play. But I don't think I'll be going too long because I'm pretty tired now. When I started the morning there wasn't a breath of wind but now the old wind socks starting to get up a bit now that I've decided to pull out the super light bike you can see it's a good old uh, little techy little drop here Must have been, I didn't push anywhere, oh you never push on the e-bike but now I've gone back to pushing I don't know why this, now suddenly I'm nervous after 30 laps of this this morning first lap on the steam bike and I'm nervous all right, we might just do these one at a time. Oh shit, you get blown around on this thing. <laughs> All right, we got the first one. All right, we'll have another little go. Oh, it's not too bad, not too bad. A bit more speed and we'll have it. Oh, oh, the thing I miss though is just being, not being able to just power straight back up the hill, turn around, come down again, straight up. Okay, I'm complaining again, sorry guys. Anyway, got to get two weeks, the zero's going to Christchurch. I want to be able to jump some stuff when I'm down there. Yeah, getting there, that's two, bit of a case. You would think the lighter bike would get more height, but it doesn't. The e-bike generates so much more height. Luckily the wind's actually blowing in the direction we're riding, so it's not a crosswind, so that's handy. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah, alrighty. Alrighty, potato. Over there, I never ever thought in my wildest dreams that one day I would come and clear all these on the old zero. Happy with that. All right, now just one more push up. Alrighty, another clean run, hopefully. Right there. Up. Oh shit. Oh, we'll take that for a start. All right, guys, you know me, not one to complain. Okay, I complain all the time. That's all I ever do, isn't it? Um, but one of the reasons you progress so fast on an e-bike is I just lapped this this morning. I didn't even unclip when I got to the top, just went round, back down, up or down, up, down. Did, I don't know, I think I said about 13, 14 Ks of laps of, of this little tiny track. Um, steam bike, one run to the bottom, push back up. I'm now having to sit on a log and having a rest. But you know me, not one to complain. <laughs> Maybe we'll take the alternate line and see if I can get hold any more speed. Where is the line? There it is. 
Oh, no, you can't. It's a horrible corner. Truly horrible corner. Okay, well, I'm officially exhausted now. I can't believe how many laps I did at the airfield. Mixed day, really. Um, I wanted to do everything really well, and I didn't, and I really struggled. Um, I guess that's just poor technique. I, you can always blame the jumps, but at the end of the day, I just didn't have the skill to make it work. I wanted to do the, the big monster line, but I think my um, confidence got shaken a little bit, so I decided not to do that. You know me, it's all about safety first. Um, interestingly, I didn't put up cameras today, partly because I just felt lazy and I wanted to get as much practice in as possible. And also, I'm a little bit confused because I've made lots of videos lately, and some of them have had a huge amount of effort, loads of cameras, taken me all day to film, and they've got very low views. And other ones, I've literally put a GoPro on my helmet and, and complained while I'm riding, and you guys have loved the video. So I really don't know what you like and what you don't, but do you love all the little camera angles of all the jumps, or are you just happy with the GoPro on my chin and me yabbering as I go? Anyway, um, I'd love to hear your comments, um, and if you haven't subscribed, of course, I'd love it if you did that. And anyway, we'll see you on the next one.